Yes. I, I make a motion to accept tab seven as submitted in the book. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Any discussion of tab seven? You'll remember that we passed a similar motion some time ago. This and we also knew that that motion, or that resolution, had some problems in the case where we were trying to elect more than one board member at the same time. This simply corrects those issues and allows us to implement the general case of several board members being elected by the board at the same time. Ken. Uh, this resolution is confusing in several places. Uh, Actually, in, the, in item six, it talks about the vacated term extended for another year shall be filled by the election candidate. Well, it seems like you can say that simply and clearly uh, in a better way. I just I think what we're trying to say is that uh, when we rack out the votes All that hurt. Yeah. at the end of the meeting, the one with the lowest level of approval gets the one-year term. Is that what we're trying to say, then? Yeah, I thought that's what we said. Well, if you can word it better. But it could be less than a one-year term. You might guess not from an annual meeting. You see the one you see the one year or two years. I struggled with that sentence. First time it was really bad. Um, it's the very last sentence, right? Mm -hmm. Work that night, no candidacy. Well, 
I guess my point well, is you're ruling out, you're saying there are a whole class of people there. that can't be candidates because they're unable to show up on a given Monday night of our choice. Is that fair to one members? I don't know. Is it, is it fair to our members that, that the board elects somebody who doesn't come to the meeting? You don't have to elect them. Would you accept something like strongly urge? I, I was one of those that was in complete agreement where you are. And I really still am. Um, those kinds of things can happen, Wayne, but they're few and far between, but they can't happen. But I think, uh, and I think I uh, made this statement at the just recently conducted board election, uh, I believe a person needs to be here to make a statement and be questioned. From my point of view, if they aren't, then I'm probably not going to elect them. Now, if it was a, if it was a unique circumstance, like having a baby, something else, I could probably do that. Which is where I come back understanding that, that maybe you can make this as, as strong language as you can without requiring it, so that someone will understand that we expect them to be here. And then if there's some unique situation, we can deal with that. I was waiting for some resolution of that. <coughs> some proposed word. Yeah. <laughs> I feel less strongly about the person actually appearing than I do about the person answering questions at the board. Um, if the person knows in advance, I think at the last election like this, there was an opportunity that we could have emailed questions to the to the other candidate. That, that, that might suffice to be able to send questions and get get real answers. Yeah. Yeah, there was a, another consideration here that's a little bit uh, off to the side, but I've mentioned this numerous times before in other forms and things. Uh, it really would be nice if we had teleconference capability in here. If somebody was called up on a business trip, they couldn't make the meeting, they were a real good candidate, they could dial in, and that is being present. So I, I wish we had that capability. If we talked about it, that would help. Do you have proposed language that you'd like to recommend? Not at this time. No, I, 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 I will do this. I've made my comments, and uh, if others in the board think that the, the document needs to be revised, I'm with them. If they think not, I'm going to make it. I'm willing to insert uh, <coughs> the following words in here if this, if this uh, suits you. And, and four, to be considered as a designated board meeting, qualified candidates insert the following are strongly encouraged to attend and. strongly encouraged to attend and afford the opportunity to make a brief presentation and so forth. Right. How's that sound? Right. It makes the point. Okay. Let right. me understand the words that Dave has inserted into his own resolution. Yeah. Okay. Satisfactory? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. That's okay. Item six. Um, the last sentence doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I, I must be missing something. But it says that this vacated term was originally intended to extend for another year. It shall be filled by the elected candidate receiving the least number of votes. The elected candidate. That's the key word. Yeah, the elected. Okay. The two people elected, one gets seven votes, one gets six votes. The six is the person who got the least votes. But they both got them through. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. There are two comments, Dave. Um, Dave and I worked a lot on this simple resolution. As you can tell. <laughs> I want to thank you for your diagram. That's his diagram. Uh, one of the things about these diagrams is it, it does uh, start showing you how complex a simple question may be. <laughs> Um, but there's two inconsistencies at the moment now between the diagram and the words. In D5DI, 
At the conclusion of each vote, the candidate or candidates of tied receiving the least number shall be eliminated until one candidate